Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So this time, as I told you in the last video, I'm going to talk about uh, Diana. She's going to be our newest commander added into the game. And uh, I'm sure she has something to do with the new event Battle of Issos and especially the Protect the Butterfly Valley. I think this is where we are going to see her for the first time in the shop uh, and uh, most likely we are going to see the first time uh, her uh, package. So uh, Diana is uh, one of the newest commanders and she currently has uh, a 20 point uh, on the rank system as the other big 5 commanders. Uh, and I think she's going to be one of the expensive side commanders where you can own. But let's go after her stats and see exactly what uh, does she do best. So Diana is a spear commander uh, where she focuses on a single target attack. And uh, her base stats is going to be 50% spearman attack, 25% total defense and 25% reduction on the counter ratio which is really really good to be honest uh, what uh, the spearman anti counter means is that if you getting attacked uh, by full infantry and your full spearman commanders the counter ratio is going to be reduced by 25 I think it's 50 base so it's going to half that and uh, you're going to lose uh, less troops and most importantly is going to make your spearmen uh, really stronger and uh, you are not going to get punished as much uh, if your formation isn't right and you attack uh, a full inf uh, formation or a f infantry frontline formation with uh, spears you are going to get uh, less punished other than that, uh, Diana is going to be pre-awoken, if you can say that. So we are not going to wait for uh, her awakening. She is going to have awakening uh, skill uh, unlocked from the first uh, day she is in the shop. So let's check her skills for uh, rebel leaders. So she reduces the rage recover speed for both allies and enemies uh, that's a little bit weird to be honest I'm not sure if it's going to help you or not she will help like the auto attack uh, rebel leaders like Enzo for example she is going to help uh, Enzo because he doesn't focus uh, on uh, his uh, special ability and only focus on attacks she also uh, Silence is one random ally commander uh, when the battle begins and grants uh, the commander a heal effect and he recovers about a thousand health every second for 90 seconds so about how much uh, it takes to finish one uh, rebel leader attack uh, Next When an ally commander attack enemies with uh, symbols, favor symbols there is a 7% uh, 70% uh, chance of redux, uh, reduction sorry reducing yeah might by 300 um, and her active skill is going to be that deals 8000 damage this is for gold called Diana uh, 8000 damage to enemies in a circular area and inflicts uh, fever to the target, removing the target's buffs every 5 seconds uh, for 40 seconds. Uh, I think this is going to be really good in uh, Weirwood Memories, where a lot of the enemies, especially on the last levels, for example the 215 and the 314 and 15, where the enemies have a lot of buffs, this is going to be really good. And let's go over to the Awakening. Uh, of Diana we don't uh, know yet what the stats are going to give you 
for the first uh, three levels of Awakening, but we know that uh, the fourth star of Awakening is going to be called Butterfly's Blessing, where after the battle begins, Spearman uh, defense is going up by 40% for the entire battle, and uh, when your lineup uh, attacks a total of 10 weaknesses attack, uh, the lineup uh, of this troop is going to get one shield uh, that absorbs 60% uh, damage for 3 seconds. So this is the strongest uh, shield right now you can have for your troops. Uh, maybe Halle string uh, shield is better but uh, this is uh, every time she uses her active skill uh, so it's not uh, that common to have that shield. Um, and also there is a chance for Halle shield to proc where Diana shield is going to proc for sure every 10 weakness attack uh, of your lineup. Also shields uh, does not absorb bleed damage and bleed damage is uh, from I think Cle uh, Clegane and uh, Barret. I think these two right now are the only ones that uh, deal bleed damage. Let's check that. Yeah, he deals bleed, and I'm sure that Clegane also deals damage. But now you are going to ask me how the hell my lineup deals uh, weakness attacks. Well, my friends, weakness attacks is Jamie Lannister's special ability. So Diana with uh, Jamie Lannister are going to be the best duo to use for her um, special ability. So here, uh, when the allied lineups receive healing, the lineups normal attack changes to weakness attack, and the weakness attack cannot miss. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So, and it's going to uh, increase the damage that the enemy troops taken from each attack. But this is the only way right now you can deal weakness damage. Uh, and increase uh, and get the shield from uh, Diana's special ability. So that's everything for now for Diana. We don't know her cost. I'm not sure she's going to be free. I doubt she's going to be free. Um, but still a nice new addition into the game. Uh, and I hope she's not very expensive so a lot of people can actually obtain her. So that's everything for Diana, and uh, for every new commander that we have a game, we're going to have a new video, and where this commander right now uh, is going to go on which formation. So Diana needs Jamie Lancer for sure, and for the uh, the way to give healing to your troops, you either go with Enzo, Drake, or Latskarin. Most likely you are going to go with Drake on this formation because uh, you are going to go for Spearman for example. So that's about everything for Diana. Thanks for watching guys and I see you on the next one. I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Set my heart afire